Hello again, everyone. I'm back with another update. I got interrupted last time, my last video. Um, I just got done with a paddle on my bike. It was just warm enough to go out today, so I am back. Where I left off was with this book on how our weather works and why it is changing. I have another book here called Weather Force. This book goes into the New York Governor Kathy Ho Hochul, I think her name is, blamed this latest blizzard on global warming. Said so global warming is causing more extreme weather events such as this that we just experienced in the U.S. with this extreme cold outbreak, record snowstorm or blizzard in Buffalo. Um, over 30 people were killed by this blizzard. And I believe part of the reason is too many people believe in global warming. They don't believe that these kind of weather events can befall them anymore. But this book, Weather Force, goes into um, the blizzard of 77. It says, looking once again at the so-called temperate countries of higher latitudes, it looks increasingly likely that there really has been a change for the worse bringing more violent extremes of weather and perhaps presaging more violence in, to come. Take the big freezes of 76 to 78. In 1977 to 78, even bland old Britain got hit by the frosts. In January, ferocious snowstorms were at Scotland. Two were frozen standstill. It goes on to say in the next paragraph, it is the two Arctic winters that hit the eastern U.S. in 76, 77, 77, 78 that will be remembered as something really dramatic. And just possibly these severe winters combined with the severe droughts further west will be seen to have finally convinced governments and civil servants that the weather will remain a force to be reckoned with. And it goes on to say, yet again, the phrase that had become so familiar in weather reports in the 70s was used to describe the U.S. winter of 76-77, the worst in, for 100 years. In the end of January 1977, the sophisticated economy world learned firsthand of the power of the weather. Motorists trapped in their cars by blizzards suffocated. More than a half a million workers were laid off in New Jersey alone. It goes on to say in Buffalo, next paragraph, perhaps the worst hit center. Well over 12 feet of snow fell by the end of January compared with the usual 3.5 to 4 feet. Closed the airport and... Made streets almost impassable to ordinary traffic, including police vehicles. Does that not sound like what just happened? This was in January of 1977. It goes on to say, inevitably, looters took advantage of the situation again. This is almost like an instant replay of what just happened. Looters have looted Buffalo again. Just like 1977 in January. But, um... It goes on to show pictures of the 77 blizzard in Buffalo, New York. And it goes on show pictures of of what happened and this the reason why they brought all of this out is um this shows Niagara Falls in early 1978 
New York City, buried under snow. The, bl the first blizzard of January 78. Why am I sharing this information? It's because this all happened back in 19... In the 70s, when we had a weak solar cycle, 20, which caused the global cooling to happen. So this is really, what we're seeing now is really nothing new. It's not unprecedented. Um, and this book... Basically goes into the reasons for the extreme weather patterns we've been seeing and attributed it to global cooling. In this book, The Weather Machine, it goes into Um, a history of the climate of the ice ages and the darker periods show colder periods and the lighter periods show warmer periods in our climate in times when the glaciers expanded and contracted black expansion white is contraction so we can see from this chart that their prediction was they actually were predicting warming up to the end of the 20th century after the cool down of the 70s they were predicting warmer temperatures around the turn of the century being 2000 As we could see, this is a picture of Europe during the Little Ice Age in the 1700s. You could see that paintings frequently had scenes like this. So was that caused by global warming? Because if that happened today, they would attribute it to global warming. Was what we just saw. Previous to global warming. Blizzard in Buffalo. My answer to that is definitely no.